Hello and welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guy video. We have a grey plastic bag which means only one thing, I've been shopping on AliExpress for some more cheap Chinese radios and today we have to review this Minervo 918C combined FM and MP3 player. As you can see the box has got a bit battered on its journey from China but it survived so let's open it up and let's see what we've got to play with. So we have a set of instructions. These are in Chinese, but this is meant for the Chinese market, so that's fine. We have a little lanyard. We have a USB lead there, and what's that for? It's actually got a built-in rechargeable battery, so that's really useful. And then we have the unit itself. Let's take it out of the bag. I like the look of this radio. I think it's quite smart, and that's the reason why I bought it, to be honest. Um, as I say, it's an MP3 player and FM radio, but it's also got Bluetooth connectivity. It's got a built-in clock, and would you believe a little built-in torch as well. So quite a few features there. Give you an idea of size. Um, we'll do the old mug shot there. The actual side of it itself is about 155 wide by 65 high by 30 millimeters deep. Um, I bought it from AliExpress. As I say, I can only find this in one store. Um, you can get it in two sort of flavors. You can either get it in the gold finish is where I bought, or you can get it in the red finish there. The store itself, would you believe, is called the Fantasy Attentive Pig Store. Can you believe that? But as you can see there, the prices are the range between six eighty nine and six ninety nine and three seventy six for shipping. I actually paid ten pounds sixty five plus the VAT, and it took around about four weeks to get to the UK. So that's all good. So, what have we got? I'll take you through the controls first and then we're going to set up the, the clock. So we've got M, that little M button there is for mode, so that will take you through either clock mode or FM radio, MP3 player or Bluetooth. We've got the usual reverse, play, pause and forward push buttons there. So that's if you're cycling through your MP3 tracks or you're searching through your stored FM stations. FM button and then you've got 10 buttons there and those again are for your recalled uh, stored radio stations or mp3 tracks. On the top we've got this USB connection there so you can play your mp3 tracks from a USB stick. Off on button, little button there for the torch. We've got the micro USB connection there for recharging the battery. 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones. Little LED which is the torch itself and then your micro SD card uh, uh, port there. On the bottom we've got two little rubber feet which is a nice sort of feature there, stop you uh, moving around on the surface. Back is actually totally enclosed, there's no access to the battery but that's fine, that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do now is set up the clock and then we'll put it through its paces. So what we do, we utilise the on off switch there, we'll switch that on. Clock mode. Tells you in clock mode, you could hold the FM button down just for a little moment. You'll see there hopefully if you can, you can see there the hours uh, indicators there. So we'll just cycle through those. So you just use the fast forward button and this increments the hours up to the desired one. I'm just going to set this up for 12.30 just for demo purposes. So there's your 12. Press the FM button again. The minutes now flash and you do the same there. So cycle through until you get to 30. You can hold them down and, and cycle through quicker. I'm just pressing them just so I can get to that number. So nearly there. And once you've got the desired time, you press the play track pause button and that sets it up there. So hopefully there you can see there, so it's 12.30. So I'm now going to change the mode and put it into FM mode. So just press the M button. FM mode. Tells you in FM mode. It's on loan at uh, Aston Villa in the 2014-15 season. I'll just mute that a second. I've just put the aerial up. The pause button there will actually pause the, uh, the the actual station itself. It doesn't pause it, it mutes it, but it's a nice little feature. Um, I found these out just by playing with it. As I say, the instruction in Chinese, so you've got no chance in that mode, but it's a good uh, little fun just to play around with these things. So what I'm going to do now is get it to scan all the FM stations that are out there and to put them into memory. And the way we do this, we just press the, the play pause button again. So I'm just going to take that off and sort of um, we'll bring back the uh, the station. So really, add to Bitaro means you can dox yourself very well. And then just press it and hold down just momentarily. And then hopefully you can see it's scanning through the various stations. Just let it do its thing. It sucks, slides! Strength and old... Finding quite a few stations. Oh, and we 
we're back down to the first one now. So if you want to recall the stations that have been stored. Your time is up. You took a sip. That's the biggest hits on Karen Chase and Radio F. You just press the buttons and you find them. So what you can also do now, uh, you can put into Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Just by pressing the mode button. And then you can obviously then sync up your, your iPhone or your, your mobile phone to this and play your MP3 music for it. Uh, press the M button again. Clock mode. We're back, back into clock mode. So what I'm going to do now is to um, use a little memory stick and see if we can play some MP3 music through. So I've got a little memory stick here. Through. Play by USB drive. I've just paused that. This sounds really good. Um, part of the reason for that is it's got only got a 40 millimeter speaker, but it's a decent speaker. But it's also hopefully you can see through there. What's known as a little passive radiator. So that's like a little rubber diaphragm, which moves in sympathy to with the speaker, just to give you a little bit more sort of uh, a definition of sound. And that's quite a nice feature. It's I'm not sure how it's coming over on the uh, the internet, but as I'm playing it, it sounds really really good. So what I'm going to do is remove that memory stick. Bluetooth mode. Uh, what I'm going to do now is utilize a micro SD card, the track on there, just see if it'll play that. Play by TF card. I'll just pause that and take that out. Bluetooth mode. As you can see, it's got quite a few decent sort of features. Um, the torch I mentioned, I'll just pop that on. Not the brightest thing in the world, but I guess it's useful. Um, you know, if you've got a, so the power's gone out or something, or you need to get back to the uh, the breaker board, then that's a useful sort of thing to do. Um, incidentally, if you put the on-off switch back to off, it resets the clock, so you have to go and set the clock up again. So the idea is then, hopefully, is that you leave it sort of switched on, and it just goes into sort of standby mode. Clock mode. So in clock mode there, it just sort of tells you the time, and that's a useful little sort of thing to do. And um, incidentally, when you are recharging this, there's a little light that pops on. I've just got a little battery charge here, so I'm just going to pop that in. So it'll go in, get the right way around. I'll just put my charger on if I can. You see that little light there? Hopefully, it's just, hopefully, I can just about see that. And it just tells you it's actually recharging as well. So, there's some nice little touches on this, uh, this little unit. So, I really like it and um, for the money I think it's worth it. I've got no association I say with this sort of store this is just something I had to browse through Aliexpress like the look of it I thought I'll order it and see what it's like so there you go it's the Minerva 918C FM radio and mp3 player and also Bluetooth uh, player as well. I hope you enjoyed this if you do then I've got plenty more um, videos on my channel on things such as this little um, cheap um, FM AM radios from China um, also got some reviews on typical ones like this. It's a little TDV26. Um, Very similar features to this. This is, would you believe, has got Bluetooth as well. So I'll pop across and have a look at that if you want to. Um, also do some on some shortwave radios. This is the Retigas V115. This is an excellent sort of receiver for the money. This doesn't cost much at all. And it's got a very good performance on both on shortwave. And it's got MP3 and record as well. So excellent there. Plenty to have a look at. I also do some videos on some classic transistor radios from the 50s, uh, 60s and 70s. I also do a few videos on HitFilm Express on uh, video editing there. And there's plenty of others. You can tell I'm into all sorts of things, just having a double and having a play. So, as I say, appreciate you watching. Um, and as always, take care and I'll speak to you soon.